Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to this new exciting adventure. The Plugin Development Series! Finally, we're starting this amazing series that I've been talking about since, I don't know, the beginning of this very own channel. I know, I know, it took me a lot of time, but I did a lot of videos in the past. I did almost 200 videos, it's just insane how many tutorials I published in the past two years. So, we're finally reached the point where we can start the plugin development series. Before starting, if you're a new user, if you're a new YouTuber watching my videos and watching my face for the first time, and you're really interested in starting developing plugins for WordPress, please stop there. If you don't know how to build a custom theme from scratch, if you don't know how WordPress works, all the weird shenanigans that go inside the settings API or all the stuff that you need to do to build a custom WordPress mega menu, there are plenty of other tutorials that I did that you can watch. You can watch the WordPress 101 series if you're completely basic, if you're totally beginner, you don't know what you're doing, just start from there. If you're okay, you're not a beginner, but you don't consider yourself an intermediate level, start with the premium theme development to learn all the weird shenanigans of WordPress and build a pretty cool theme called the Sunset Theme, and then continue with the WordPress Mega Menu series where we start doing some uh, object-oriented programming code to touch the Walker Nav class, build a custom theme in some specific weird sections, and deal with all these crazy stuff that WordPress offers. But if you follow all those series or you're an experienced developer and you just want to learn how to build plugin, you're in the perfect place. So what are we gonna do in this series? Basically for the first three or four videos we're gonna just take a look on how to build a plugin and how to let WordPress recognize our plugins with updates, custom sections, custom description and the usual stuff. We're gonna take a look of the regular hooks of WordPress to handle activation, deactivation and deletion of a plugin and uh, tap the database in some specific point and especially we're gonna spend a bit of time on uh, security like how to make a plugin safe, how to avoid to leave like backdoor opens or cross domain injections or all these scary stuff that sometimes we find it and that's one of the worst thing about the plugins of WordPress like if you don't know how to read the code you could actually use a plugin that has a huge vulnerability and you're gonna leave that vulnerability pretty much open to your entire website just because you're using that plugin so let's learn and spend a little bit of time to know how to do things properly. After that, after the first three or four videos, we're gonna start building plugins, one plugin after another. And that's where I need you. Basically, what I want you to do, I want you to let me know what plugin you wanna build. And before you start typing all your crazy idea, like let's build a visual editor or let's build a plugin that grabs the database, formats it and transfers it automatically into another location. Before doing all this crazy stuff, let's be real, like, I cannot spend 60 videos to build your custom visual editor or your crazy plugin idea because you don't know how to build it, you want me to build it. I'm not gonna do that, I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't wanna like feel or just like act like a douchebag, but this is not the place to build your custom plugin. If you wanna learn how to build something, like some specific section of a plugin, some specific um, custom thing, like some small things that you don't know how to do it, this is the perfect place. We can build small plugins to touch some specific aspect, but we're not here to build a gigantic plugin that can do everything you've ever dreamed of. That is up to you, that is up to you after you learn how to build a plugin. So let's be realistic and help me to define a list of realistic plugins that we can build together. I already have a topic in my forum at forum.alicad.com where you can contribute at the list of plugins that I'm gonna build throughout the series and probably this series will, I don't know if never stop it's the right thing to do but it will go on for a long time because uh, showing you how to build a plugin is pretty quick we're not gonna spend too much time on it but building different type of plugins and using object-oriented programming to build different type of plugins it's really interesting and that's another thing that you need to consider 
Plugins are built in object-oriented programming PHP. We cannot use procedural code to build plugins. So if you don't know anything about PHP, this is gonna be kind of complicated. So you really need to know your basic and you really need to know WordPress and all the object-oriented programming stuff for WordPress because those are really important. Without those basic knowledge pieces or without that basic understanding of object-oriented programming in PHP, it's gonna be really hard for you to follow this series. So I'm super excited, super pumped to start this, finally this amazing series and let me know in the comment below what you wanna learn, what you wanna know, what do you wanna build together and uh, do you have something specific in mind or is just like let's learn how to code and just that's okay, we're gonna have a lot of fun. As usual, if you like this video, this quick introduction about this amazing new series that is gonna start, just give it a thumbs up. If you hate my voice, hate my face, give it a thumbs down, it's totally, totally fine. I hate that too, but it's okay. But anyway, let me know in the description what you think, and as usual, until the next first amazing lesson of the plugin development series, happy coding!